No one wants to get COVID-19, but most of us can't stay at home all day, every day. It's just not practical. So what do you do? You can make your own choices while trying to reduce your risk of getting infected or infecting others. But please remember that what you do and where you go affect the health of others. When you're out in public places, wear a mask or cloth face cover. Stay six feet or two meters from others. Use hand sanitizer. Keep your hands away from your face and eyes. And when you get home, wash your hands. It's your choice, but you should know when it comes to activity, there is a range of risk from low to high. The least risky thing or safest is to stay at home without visitors. But let's face it, not everyone can or should stay inside all the time. Activities that have a low risk include enjoying the outdoors. Examples are things like reading, sitting, walking, biking, and running. When you're out, avoid face-to-face -face interactions by keeping a six foot or two meter space between you and others. If you can't maintain that social distance, wear a mask and don't share sports equipment or toys. Riskier activities include outdoor get-togethers, such as large picnics, outdoor restaurant meals, and outdoor weddings. If this is a level of risk you want to take, wear a face cover or mask before and after you eat. Don't share food, drink, or utensils. And it's worth repeating, keep a six foot or two meter space between you and others. Now the highest risk to your health and the health of others is indoor group settings like bars, gyms, restaurants, and house parties. If you can't avoid being at these types of places, keep your visits short. And if you can't maintain distance, wear a mask. You can try to improve airflow by opening windows or turning on fans. We're all living through a tough time. Social distancing, wearing a mask, and washing your hands help everyone stay healthy. With patience, care, and a little time, we'll get through this together.